Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Come here, zebrafish. Where are you going? Come here. Come. Stop. Do not run away from my robot teeth that have been designed to chomp and kill and chew. Everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. Now, in the last episode, we played as the skeleton fish became the biggest skeleton fish the world has ever seen, which was really, really cool and a lot of fun. Today, we're going to be checking out the Mecha Bebos, the mechanical fish, the robot of the fish world, the Terminator of the sea, as, as he's known as. Actually, I just made that up, but... This is gonna be pretty cool because this guy looks really, really cool and I wanna make him really big. Like really, really big. So we're gonna do our best here. Let's go ahead and jump into the game and uh, get this party started and try to get this robot fish up to his maximum potential. Oh, look at this. That is so stinking cool. Look at his little propeller fin. Oh my gosh, that is such a great little touch. And if I if I speed up, it goes even faster. That is great. Because they could have just made it like a normal little robot, you know, the fish. Just wagging back and forth. But they gave him a little propeller. That is so fantastic. And, and we also found ourselves a swordfish that we can chew on. Uh, these Bebos are technically the same species as us, even though we are a robot, so they shouldn't be able to eat us, but they are taking our food. You guys need to leave. Get out of here, this is mine. It's all mine. Where'd they go? It kind of scares me when they leave though. It makes me wonder if like something bigger is coming. <laughs> they spotted it before I did and I'm about, I'm about to be eaten whole, swallowed whole by a giant fish. It's an experience that I do not wish upon my greatest enemy. I, <laughs> what am I talking about? Either way, I'm a robot fish right now, and it is awesome. This guy is so stinking cool. So one of the things that we're going to try today is using our scavenger uh, strategy to basically eat the fish that kind of trickle their way up to the top of the ocean who are killed by our greatest nemesis there, the Megalodon. We'll come back for you later, buddy, when we're big enough, because right now, that guy can chomp on us in one bite. We're, we're done. Just one little bite, and we are absolutely gone. We turn into Megalodon poo. So that's something that I don't want to experience right now. I just want to be a happy little robot Bebos. That's all I want. That's all I ask for. So I'm trying to find, like, pieces of meat that are just floating at the top of the surface, but uh, I don't see anything. So we may not be able to employ our, our rat strats quite yet, scavenging on, on pieces of fish that were left behind by predators that are much bigger than us. So in the meantime, we'll just eat stuff that doesn't eat us back. And starfish are the perfect example of that. I, I like starfish and sea urchins. Crabs, they can eat us. They, they can definitely chomp down on us. They use their little claws to, to pick away at us. So we're not quite big enough to take them on yet, but they do eventually become pretty decent food, although they're kind of hard to kill. You have to, you have to chew on them quite a bit to get them down to the point where you can actually eat them. So they're, they're not the best food, but they are worth some decent XP. Again, I'm just going to be, Oh, I think I see something. Okay. We need to be very careful about this though, because Megalodon could be waiting. It, it could all just be a trap. I think we're okay though. I think we're safe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this stuff as quickly as possible. Just just chomp it down into little itty bitty morsels of meat. Delicious, delicious sushi. I love it. I went and got sushi last night. No, the night before last night with my wife. And uh and I got like a, a, a sushi like platter. I got like like an assortment of fish. And there was fish on there that I don't normally eat. Normally I'm like a, I go salmon and like yellowtail. That's it. That Those are like my mainstays. Like I will do those all day. And I'll, I'll order a ton of that stuff. But this one, it had like all kinds. It had an assortment of fish that I didn't even recognize. Why did I just disappear for a second there? I, that was weird. 
I, I think we're okay. There's some dead fish over there. We're going to chew on these guys. But I'm going to continue my discussion about sushi because that's exactly what we're eating in the game. I mean, yes, we're a fish and we're eating other fish, but it's still raw fish. It's still sushi and it's delicious. So, yeah, there was a lot of fish on that platter that I ordered that uh, I've never even heard of. I think there was one called Escalar. I don't even know what an Escalar is. It's like a white fish. At least the meat was white and it was described as a white fish. And it was, it tasted fine. It was, it was pretty good. But there were some other ones on there. I think there was mackerel, which I don't, I don't know if I was a big fan of that one. That was a, a little too much fish. I got a little bit too much ocean with that one. And speaking of things that taste a lot like ocean, have you guys ever had uni or sea urchin? I think I actually talked about this in another feed and grow fish episode i don't remember though gosh that stuff i mean it's good but it's an acquired taste people love it i do not i do not love it if you've ever had uni let me know let me know if you've ever had uni because my experience with uni is basically imagine yourself standing on a beautiful beach you walk down into the water you get down on your knees and you get you get into the water to the point where the water is like just about here on your neck now now imagine a wave is coming and instead of closing your eyes and closing your mouth you just open your mouth wide and allow that wave to just crash right into your mouth and just drink all that delicious seawater <laughs> that's that's what uni tasted like to me not a great experience i did not like it at all but some people really really like it not for me it's just not for me there is a big old chunk of sushi over here and there's also a megalodon who is staring at me so i'm just gonna not go over there uh is he chasing me no he's not chasing me mm, maybe we can go for it this is this is a risky play i do not recommend this we're playing around with with megalodon's territory uh, he wait he's coming he's he's yeah yeah okay okay let's just stay behind him just just try to not get in the path of his face that's where he does all his chomping as is the way of sharks they use their mouths to eat and consume basically anything that's in their path so let's just avoid his, his mouth problem solved easy fix i should really just be eating like sea urchin and starfish right now but instead i'm playing ring around the rosy with an incredibly dangerous predator that can swallow me whole in one bite he's he, did he spot us he hasn't spotted us yet how has he not spotted us yet i can't believe i'm getting away with this okay i i don't see him anymore so i'm scared so i'm just gonna run away i think i got all the meat there and we hit level nine <laughs> That was a ton of XP. Is he? Okay, yeah, he was He was definitely kind of heading in that direction. So I'm glad we got out of there when we did. Is that a big old chunk of meat down there? It is. Oh, I don't want to mess with that guy. I don't like that guy. He looks like a dragon. I, dragons scare me. Let's not mess around with the dragonfish. Let's just eat a starfish. Perfect. It's like barely any XP at this point, though. We really need something... A little bit meatier. All right, we got some more tender morsels just kind of floating up here near the surface. Just chomp those up. Still not that much XP, but we did hit level 10, so that's pretty good. I think around like 20 or 25 is when we can actually start trying to like use that exploit with the uh, the hammerhead sharks where we just keep eating them over and over again i don't think we can quite swallow them whole at that point but we can take them down so we can just kind of hang out in that spawn area for the hammerhead sharks and just keep chewing away at them and eventually we'll get to the level where we can actually just swallow them whole and then xp just starts raking in so fast it's so awesome I love it. I want to get this guy to level 100 at least. I'd love to give it, get him even further if I have the patience for it. But gotta be real with you, sitting there and just kind of sucking up all of the hammerhead sharks over and over again, it gets a little old after a while. I mean, you're not really doing anything, so um, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm just uh, I'm gonna take out this barracuda. I'm just keeping an eye out for, I think there's more meat over there. It looks like that might be a shark though. I don't know if I want to mess around with him. That, yeah, that's a hammerhead shark. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to grab this 
and then uh, he, he hasn't noticed yet. Somehow he has not noticed. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I am not interested in what you might do to me, which is most likely eat me. Oh, we got some dead fish over here. Always an easy target. Just be mindful of predators who are hanging around. Something had to kill that fish at some point, right? So you got to be aware. Okay, something quite large just died over here. I'm just kind of surveying the area, seeing if there's anything bigger than me that is going to take advantage of this. It looks like Megalodon is off in the distance, but he's not really, he's not really uh, heading over here. Oh, wait. Careful. There's another shark. Just eat up all this XP. Get it. Get it. I'm, I'm not that scared of that shark over there. I'm more scared of Megalodon because he can swallow us whole. He doesn't even give you a chance. Like, you can't escape. He just, he just swallows you and then you're dead and then you have to start over. And it's a very s sad experience. It's happened to me more times than I like to admit. So I'm just kind of circling Megalodon's area here. Oh gosh. He spotted us. Get the heck out of there. <laughs> Don't play around with him. Um, I'm just looking for, for pieces of meat. And there's a big old one right up here. And this is this is a huge, huge risk that I'm taking right now. But the XP is so good if I can get it. Just chomp it down a little bit more. Just get it down into manageable size. Yes. I think we can get all this stuff. Just, just get it. Get it. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. He's off in the distance. He's heading this direction. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. We don't need that last bit. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> okay, level 14. We're making decent progress. We're kind of getting to a point where we can... We can sort of play around with the big boys now. I mean, some of the bigger fish can probably still take a chomp out of us. But we're getting better. We're getting stronger. There's less creatures in the ocean now that can kill us basically which is which is good but there are still many that can still kill us which is less good come here zebra fish where are you going come here come stop do not run away from my robot teeth that have been designed to chomp and kill and chew and turn you into delicious xp oh it's so good it's so good Still level 14, but those zebra fish are actually worth quite a bit. And I think that we might focus on them. But one of the things that I worry about is that other predators recognize that they're good for XP as well. I'm actually, I'm going to go after this guy. He seems to have taken a bit of a beating here and he's, he's, he's not fighting back. Oh, look at that. This is going to be great XP. Yes, we can actually take on sharks now. So that's actually really awesome because sharks give us tons of XP. So as long as a shark is still, you know, I mean, not not too much bigger than us, we can take them down fairly easily. So we should we should maybe look at taking on some some sharks. I don't know about the the is that's a that's a bass, right? I don't know about the bass. That that's probably not a great decision. But this guy over here, we can take him down, right? Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's definitely fighting back, but he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, man. We tore him up. No problem. See? Robot teeth. They're great. They're great. Come here, you adorable little shark. You are going to get so eaten. It's going to be a terrible, terrible day for you and your family. Oh, th this one wants to fight. This one wants to go. You bring it on. All right. You want to do this? You brought this upon yourself. Actually, you didn't. I came to you. But that's fine. Let's ignore that. These little black tip sharks are turning out to be some excellent XP with very, very little to uh, to fight back with. I mean, we are taking them down pretty fast. And uh, we've already leveled up to level 17. Will this get us to... Nah, not quite 18. We still got a little bit of a ways to go. We got a little crab just kind of floating away. Let's see. Are there more around here? This seems to be their spawn area. So they should just kind of hang out around here and we can just pick them off one by one. Uh, they do tend to kind of gang up though. And that's one thing that kind of scares me. The Barracudas, especially, they will gang up on you. If you start attacking like one of them, like 10 of them will just pop up out of nowhere and start biting down on you. And one Barracuda isn't that scary, but when you got like four, five, 
10 of them chomping down on you, you die really, really fast, actually. <laughs> it's happened to me before, so uh, I'm a little bit kind of, kind of weary of the whole, like, mob mentality thing with some of these fish, but these black tip sharks, uh, they're not, they're not really putting up much of a fight, so I'm not too worried about them, and they're giving us some absolutely delicious XP. Come here, little sharky boy. No, everything's gonna be fine. Just close your eyes and become XP. That's all you have to do. There you go. Well done. You've done it. Where'd they all go? Well, all the black tip sharks just kind of stopped spawning here. I guess they kind of got the memo that there is a giant robot fish eating them, so they left. <laughs> so we're gonna have to find somewhere new to go, but I think we're almost at the point where we can start chomping down on the hammerhead sharks. And so the hammerhead sharks, they spawn over here, uh, actually. So what we need to do is we need to take down at least one of them, and then it'll just start respawning in that one spot. Uh, hopefully Megalodon doesn't show up though. Oh, that, ooh, I don't know if I can take that guy on. He's actually trying to eat me, so I'm gonna leave for now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over here and we'll pretend that that interaction never happened with that very scary shark. So right now, I can't really do what I want to do because there's sharks down there that are making this kind of a pain. So I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I think I might just kind of scavenge again for the time being maybe try to level up to maybe around like level 25 and then we'll head back over there and see if we can take out those sharks that are kind of owning that area and then maybe we can start chomping down on the hammerhead sharks and really start accelerating our xp gain because that's when things start getting crazy so i actually i just discovered the spawn point for these like dragon fish i don't actually know what these guys are called they're really cool looking though but i found their spawn point and they're kind of at just the right level right now for me to take them on as they spawn so i can just chomp down on them a couple of times and then eat them up and then another one spawns right there and you just do it all again so we're actually consuming some pretty decent xp right now um but i do want to move this over to the hammerhead shark area uh, once i feel confident that we can actually uh survive that area with those sharks those bigger sharks that were kind of hanging out over there all right so we've been making some pretty good progress uh, chewing down on these dragon fish or whatever they're called. Uh, they are some fantastic XP. In fact, we're almost getting to the point where I think we might be able to just kind of do what we planned on doing to the hammerhead sharks just right here. We could just vacuum these guys up once we get big enough and we don't even have to worry about chewing on them. We can just eat them whole if we get big enough. So I don't I don't know if these guys are actually worth more XP than the uh, the hammerhead sharks, but so far, I mean, this is moving really, really fast. Like, <laughs> we are making some insane progress right now. I am getting, let's see, let's, let's kill one, and I'm getting like 300 to 400 XP per fish. That's pretty good. That is pretty stinking good. So if I can get all that XP, by just holding the right trigger down, I mean, that that would be amazing. That would be fantastic. So, I, I think I'm gonna try to do that. Oh, here we go. Here we go, you guys. We made it. Level 43, we can start swallowing these guys whole. They are, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they're just gonna give us tons of XP. We just vacuum them up. Look at that, 464 XP each time I swallow one of these guys and all I have to do is hold the right trigger down. This is beautiful. This is fantastic. So we could use this to probably get, I, don't, I mean, we could use this just to get to level 100, right? And, and maybe even beyond? I, I wonder if I should take this guy even further. I don't know. We took the bonefish to level 100. Um, but we could definitely go further with with the robot fish if if we choose to it just depends Kind of how much patience I have because honestly I want to kill the megalodon I want to kill the megalodon super dead because he was he was very rude to me in a previous recording He was he was killing me over and over again. It was it was very upsetting to me and I kind of want revenge 
So I, I might just have to get straight to my revenge plot. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. But in the meantime, right now, I'm just gonna enjoy this wonderful bounty of XP by just holding the right click down. <laughs> it's, it's so magical. <laughs> Look at this, level 60 is on the way and uh, it just keeps going up. It's, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, the cusp of greatness here. Level 100, here it comes, bam, level 100. Now, we can easily keep going and, and we may end up doing that, but I just, I gotta take this, this giant out for a spin. I mean, we are now the mightiest creature in the ocean. Pretty much, bar none. I, I don't think Megalodon will stand a chance. Let's let's go over, say hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, where are you going? What are you doing? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just turn you into little bits and pieces there, Mr. Megalodon? Oh, oh, you want to fight? You want to do this? Let's do it. Bring it on. Where'd you go? Where, where's your where's your respawn? Come here. I want some. Where'd you go? Where'd he go? He's gonna respawn. I know he's gonna respawn. He has to respawn. <laughs> where is he? I want to eat him again. You think you can ever get to the point where you can swallow Megalodon whole? I mean, you absolutely can, right? There's no doubt. There's there's absolutely no doubt that you can get to the point where you can just swallow Megalodon whole. I can just... <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Let me just uh, get all that XP real quick. Hey, hey, stop it. Stop it. He, he does respawn kind of fast and and faster than I can regenerate health, I think. It, something's hurting me. Is is it Megal uh, Megalodon? What are you doing? I, ca I can't even see him anymore. I gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've clearly proven ourselves to be the, the mightiest predator in the ocean. Clearly. <laughs> like three bites and Megalodon is very, very dead, um, which is awesome. I, I love this. This is revenge for everything that you've done to me, Megalodon. You've treated me very poorly, and now this is my sweet, sweet revenge. Uh, but I think we can go bigger. I, I think that I want to at least get to the point where we can swallow the Megalodon whole. That would be pretty incredible. So, uh, excuse me, you really, really want to pick a fight with me, don't you? You really need to stop doing that. But what I want to do is find our hammerhead sharks. I think that the hammerhead sharks, if we can if we can start spawn killing the hammerhead sharks, which are right over here, right? I think this is where they pop up. Um, if we can start spawn killing them, I'm wondering if they'll give us better XP. 464, what were the other guys giving us? I think the other guys were giving us like 470 something. So it was pretty negligible. I think that the hammerhead sharks give us a slightly less amount of XP, but honestly, I don't think it really matters at this point. We're getting tons of XP. We are the biggest fish by far in the ocean, but I want to get, I want to at least see if we can get to the point where we can eat Megalodon with one bite. Just take him down, swallow him whole like he is nothing to us. That would be the ultimate, the epitome of my revenge. So I'm just gonna sit here and, and continue to level up. All right, guys, so guess what? We can eat the Megalodon whole. <laughs> Look at this. I, I thought we hit like level like 150 a few minutes ago. And I thought, why don't I just try to eat the Megalodon whole? And sure enough, um, I can, and it turns out that the Megalodon is worth 2,700 XP each time you kill him. So he is by far worth way more than all the other fish in the sea and gives us so much XP so quickly. We are going to hit level 200 here in just a couple of minutes. And I love this shot here. This <laughs> is such a great shot of, of our giant robot fish just consuming, absorbing the, the Megalodon. Just 
one after another. Just keep them coming. It's like a, a factory line. He's just got like a conveyor belt just leading right into his mouth of Megalodons. It's absolutely beautiful. So level 194, 195, we are five levels away from being level 200, which is twice the size that we were with the skeleton fish. So yeah, the robot fish, pretty stinking awesome. I, I am really, really liking this update and the addition of this particular fish. This thing is so cool. All right, guys. Well, we've, uh, We've, we've hit kind of critical mass here. Um, we are a level 467 robot fish. Um, we kind of broke the game. Like, yeah, can I, can I get a, a shot of this, this thing, this monstrosity? I mean, it is, it is enormous. It is very, very large. I want to get it up to level 500 though, but uh, <laughs> it's, look at, that's a megalodon. That little fish that is getting swallowed by this robot is a megalodon. Yeah, I mean, it's it little. It looks like a sardine compared to this thing. We are huge. This is this is the biggest fish that I've ever created in in feed and grow fish. <laughs> Level 500 is truly absurd. Uh, we've we've pretty much broken the game at this point. I I don't know what else to say. I mean, I think that like it might wait 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 the megalodon. I just got like tons of XP. I think that I just accidentally ate like 400 fish. I don't I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. To be honest with you, like what? Where did the megalodon go? Megalodon, where are you? I need your XP. Your XP is so good for me. Where did he go? What are we even looking at anymore? We're eating something at this point. I don't know what it is though, but it's certainly something. It's not very much XP though. I need the Megalodon. The Megalodon was giving me so much XP. Is that, is that him over there? I can't, I can't even tell anymore. Like I am the size of the ocean. You guys, I am the ocean. I have become the ocean. The fish now live inside of me because there's nowhere for them to go. I think the Megalodon is actually chewing on me right now. So I'm just gonna try to, try to turn. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I think I found him. Am I eating him? I. There we go, we got, we got some good XP in there. There he is. Okay, we are eating the Megalodon. Once again, so we are on our way to level 500. I'll get back to you guys as soon as we hit 500. 499. We are just about to hit 500. Uh, 500. And I have, I have no idea what's happening. I, <laughs> I, it is so disorienting. I would love to get like out of the water. Can, can we get a shot of this enormous level? 500, look at that, look at that bite. That is terrifying. Uh, I, I really would love, we did like 500 damage with one bite. Um, I, I would love to get a better shot of this guy. Let's see if we can kind of adjust the camera in a way that allows us to. I don't know why the camera is shaky like this. We clearly have gone too far. I can't even move actually. Now, now that I look at it, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm just stuck forever. I'm, I, <laughs> I think the, the, the fish's head, the robot fish is sticking out of the water right now. I think. It's very, very hard to tell though. We are getting attacked. Wait, let's see if we can get the camera. Can I get the camera out of the water? I want to get a nice shot of this fish. Come on. There's the Megalodon, like chewing on our lower jaw, doing just about nothing to us. He cannot, he cannot handle us. We are too much fish for that little Megalodon to handle. Well, that's incredibly disorienting. Oh my gosh, please make it stop. Make it stop. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Feed and Grow Fish. I hope that you guys are, are happy with what we've accomplished today. A level 500 robot fish. This thing is insane. It's the, it's the biggest thing I've ever seen. 
in in this game this is this is absolutely crazy but guys that's gonna do it for this episode of feed and grow fish i hope that you enjoyed it i had to pause the game because the flickering of the camera was making my brain melt into a putty or ooze and it was dripping out of my ears it was very very disturbing guys that's gonna do it if you enjoyed this be sure to hit that like button and of course if you'd like to see more you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window you can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.